we are talking about how to paint water today, and this is my first time ever painting a wave, so we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of reasons painting water is so hard. It's see-through, it has depth, it's also shiny and reflective, and it also reflects only certain colors. All these things put together make things really difficult when trying to represent it in paint. Basically, all I did to learn how to paint water was to look at references, and a lot of references. I noticed a few things. As the water got deeper, it got a lot more blue. Water that was closer to the surface or in a thinner part of the wave reflected a lot more green and light blue light. And then wherever a wave was breaking or there were bubbles in the water, there was a lot of white light reflected. Just understanding these few basic concepts and thinking about them while I was painting was all I needed to really get some convincing water to come across. These clouds, which are technically made of water so it fits in this video, were a lot of fun. I did them a lot more like oil paint and they came out really, really good. Hopefully learning a little bit about my process when learning will help you in your paintings. Thanks for watching.